Hello, I am Ricky J, and welcome to another music video reaction with me, Recky. This video is well, kind of a response to uh, to that one right there. The reaction video I did about the Star Spangled Banner and the history of the United States of America and its anthem. And I'm going to be completely honest. I did not know how the the Swedish national anthem actually became or how it was written, why, when, and how. I have no clue. So, to do this video, I had to do some research, and I found it's not an amazing story. It's not an amazing story. And there's a lot of funny things with this, which is just mind-blowing, to be honest. We don't have that war story or the the patriotic story that the the star spangled banner we don't have that the information i have is short boring the truth that's it so what i found out is basically that the swedish uh, anthem was written in 1844 uh and uh, it was basically meant to be like a Swedish folk song or a folk tune. And during this time, it was uh, it was created during a pan of Scandinavian. Uh, and so instead of actually being a song about Sweden, it was actually a song about Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Uh, but Denmark felt like, hey, we're not up there. We're not north. So the song is basically a song about the north. That's how it all started. And Denmark thought, well, it's not about us. You guys can keep it for yourself. Sweden, Norway, here you go. We're not north, even though they are super north. They didn't really want it to be a part of it, which is kind of fun. And uh, so when it got rewritten to be a bit more Swedish, it got a bit more patriotic. So they added a bit more verses. It got semi slightly rewritten and uh richard dybeck was the individual that wrote it first so i think it was around uh late 19th century that it became swedish national anthem because uh and today we don't have a national anthem the constitution or the swedish government uh, actually haven't really accepted accepted a song to be called this is our national anthem it wasn't it wasn't decided and that is kind of weird i didn't know that so i'm i'm sitting here and i read it and i thought what so who picked this and it turns out that during like the mid or the end, late 1930s around 1938 uh there was um, a radio channel somewhere in sweden that always ended the radio broadcast with this song. And this is how it all started. It was basically how it all, this is what we're gonna have. We're gonna keep this and boom. Like I said, it was written in 1844, but like I said, it was a pan, pan Scandinavian, which basically means that uh, the pan Scandinavian movement was really strong during this time because we didn't want Sweden to be uh, alone or Norway to be alone. We wanted to be one. That's how it all began with this song. And uh, it's just weird. So when the song got rewritten, they put in more about Swedish, Sweden uh, living and dying for your country uh, and uh, sacrifice and, you know, stuff like that. So that's that's basically it. I was hoping that, I mean, I love my country. I love Sweden. I am I am a patriot, a patreon. By all, by all means, I'm a patron. I love my country. It's beautiful. We got basically everything. We got fields. We got mountains, lakes, streams. We got everything here. And it's, it's, it's a freaking beautiful country. But the song or the National Anthem history, well, yeah. <laughs> it's not that great. Uh, and what I know about is that the... Uh, uh, a bill in 1960, uh, they attempted to make a different song uh, for the national anthem. We don't want that song, we want this. But he got super defeated and said, hell no, we're going to keep this. 
boom. And I found a video uh, with the Swedish national anthem with English text. So we're going to listen to it. Uh, it's got four verses. Normally, when you watch like uh, hockey for the world championship or football, soccer for the Americans, uh, you normally only play one or maybe even two. And this is a part where I can be super, super honest. I don't know the, the third and fourth verse. I cannot sing them. I can sing the first one and the second one, but then it gets tricky. The public doesn't know. I'm pretty sure there's some of you guys out there that know exactly the, the, the third and the fourth verse. I don't. So that's kind of weird. So we're going to check a look. And unfortunately, the text is in white, so it's kind of hard to see. But I hope you guys can at least uh, get a sense of it. It's two minutes and 20 seconds long. And uh, let's do this. is that the first and the second verse it gets me really emotional in a very very hard way because for me it's the national anthem and I am proud of my country and I'm proud of what we did and what we are doing and it's not a great story about it there's not a super patriotic event going on whatsoever but it's a beautiful song, and there's multiple ways to sing this song. And in the description, I will list a couple of them so you can actually get an understanding how to actually sing this. This song, he was singing in a very, very typical way. It's like me when I'm going to a football or hockey game, uh, and I just sing the, the basically the same thing. But there's multiple ways to sing this, and I'm going to link a couple of them in the description for you guys. You can hear the difference when actually people that can sing super good. And uh, go check them out. That was my response to the Star Spangled Banner uh, reaction video I did. I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, super thank you. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's right here. There. What? Right, right over here. Rove over here. Boom, boom, boom. That's my Patreons. I got 10, which is mind-blowing, uh, which is f fantastic. I'm super proud of it. And as a result, 10 was my goal. There will be uh, a cooking show. I'm currently in the planning 
no planning phase of it but there will be limited to my patreons and there will be reactions to pentatonics etc etc with my wife you won't miss out that thank you for watching hit that subscribe if you want to see more check out the playlist on all the content i have leave it a like and uh thank you for watching stay safe